when do you expect or when do you expect the President to formally request raising the debt limit? And the reason I ask is because you, you brought up the point that we cannot afford to as a nation to come to that point, uh, that brink again. So as the Secretary of the Treasury, when do you anticipate giving us advance notice of that request and, and a hard line? Because I remember last time it moved and it moved and it moved and it moved over time. But when, when do you expect us to see that request? Well, remember, when it moves, it's because we meet, you know, we, we, we have a large economy, $15 trillion economy, I don't know how many million payments we make a month in this context, and those change over time as the economy changes. But we give the Congress a regular estimate of those changes, and as I said, on current estimates, it will be very late in the year, uh, very late in the year. Now, that may change. So this year, you anticipate yes. this year. We, we do anticipate this year. Now, Congress, as you know, has legislated a series of provisions that allow us to give you more time to act. Uh, we've traditionally employed those. We transparent with Congress how we deploy them, and that might buy us a little bit of time. But I think I, my own, our own view is Congress is going to have to act on this before the end of the year. Before the election, do you suppose? No, not before the election. Not before. Not on current election. estimates, but before the end of the year. So you anticipate um, your office or the president's uh, office requesting this 60 days ahead of the anticipated date uh, to well, give Congress the time to the work? The law you guys passed uh, requires us to notify Congress when we come within, I can't, I think $100 billion of the limit, I'm not sure, but it's not a date. It's a, it's a uh, number test and that kind of thing. And of course, we'll meet that test.